name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a bird in Illustrator. So the first step I'm going to take is to go to your toolbar and use the ellipse tool. And here we're just going to draw a little, little head. And make sure that your um, stroke is not filled. And so here we have the head. Now, um, you can do this several ways. I'm going to draw the body with a paint, the paintbrush because I'm using a pen tablet and um, drawing the shape of a bird can be a little tricky with the pen tool. So, um, but if you're familiar with the pen tool, then um, all the more better. But I'm going to use this. Um, so I'm going to draw the body. And birds, um, their bodies are... Their heads are almost directly connected to their bodies. They barely have a neck, but it, they do have a neck, but it's, it's not very visible because of all their feathers. So you're going to want this kind of um, little bump. And then I'm going to draw the tail. And the tail usually looks a little something like this. And when you've drawn your shape that you want, um, you can just go over to your uh, your colors and just switch them so that way um, you'll have the filled in tail as opposed to the lined tail. So I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. And so now we've got this bird tail. And um, so then you can add another layer and go back to your paintbrush or you know the pen tool, whichever you're using, and uh, select a different color. Um, actually, what I'm going to do first is make sure this is all one shape. So you can go to your Pathfinder window, which you go to Window, um, Pathfinder, and mine is already open. And this window, this little window will pop up. And you're going to want to unite your shape. So that way, um, if you want to add a line to it, if you want an outline, uh, it'll be pretty simple to do. And it, it won't outline all the shapes. So, um, but that's for later, um, but make sure you do it, do it first. Okay, so then we're gonna go back to our layer that we just added, and we're gonna switch our color so that our stroke is selected. And select, I'm gonna use black. And um, sometimes this can be a little tricky because uh, the paintbrush tool isn't always the shape you want it in, so I'm gonna select um, a different size of my stroke, and I'm, the way I'm going to do that is just hold down this arrow, and it has a series of numbers that you can pick. I'm going to pick 0.5, and that'll give me a thin line. Um, and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw the wings, like so. And then a little eye. Okay, so here you've got your basic body shape. Now, the beak can be tricky because birds have different beaks. So I'm going to create the beak with a pen tool. And I'm going to select a more orangey kind of yellow. And I'm actually going to add the layer, go to the layer below my bird, and just start by doing this. And actually, I'm not getting uh, the shape I want with that tool, so I'm just going to go back to using the uh, brush tool. And I'm going to have it so that this is empty. This, the stroke is colored. I'm just going to draw a little beak like that. And then select it and reverse the colors. So you've got your bird beak. And you can move it wherever you want. I'm going to have it there. And then I'm going to actually outline it, um, except I didn't select a color. Let's see, it's black. And then you can change, like I said, change the stroke. I'm going to change it to 0.5. And then I'm going to um, outline my bird as well. And then I'm going to make the stroke uh, so that it's smaller. Five. All right, so now we've got this bird shape, but um, we're not finished, so we're going to add one more layer and make sure it's on the bottom. 
and we're gonna do the feet. So once again, have your stroke filled in and then uh, select a color. I'm gonna select a yellow again, orangey yellow. And then just start drawing the feet. Like that. And so then you can uh, reverse that. And actually, if you want, you can even add another toe. Whoops. And so that won't always work, so I'll just make sure it's like a separate part. And then you can put this there and rearrange it. Right? And then you can go to Object Group, or you can go to, actually, we're going to go to the Pathfinder window again, and we're going to do Unite. So it's one shape. And then you can select your Stroke tool, select um, whatever color you're outlining in, and change the weight again. And then if you want two feet, you can just copy and paste it. And then when we zoom out, we have our bird. He looks like he's looking for something. My name is Alex Celio, and this is how you draw a bird in Illustrator. Thank you.